This video overviews the process of how to get started using the Acorn Toolkit as a new user. The next video will teach you how to create a form. Then the final video will focus on viewing your data. If you're not yet sold on why you should measure outcomes, check out this video by clicking on the card at the top right corner. As therapists, we form undeniably strong bonds with our clients. We genuinely care about them, believe in them, and hope for the best for them which can have the unfortunate side effect of overestimating how a client may be doing. One of the major benefits of using an outcomes questionnaire is that you can see exactly how the client feels they're doing as you begin each session. This can be an incredibly valuable way of making sure your bias isn't leading you to believe a client is doing better than they actually are. For this reason, we would recommend administering the form just before each session. Discuss the purpose of the form with your client the first few times they complete it. Talk about how it'll be used and answer any questions they might have. Then, be sure to spend at least a few moments to glance over the client's answers and address any possible concerns at the beginning of each session. This process doesn't need to take long and can often provide insights that you might have otherwise missed. ACORN forms will generally contain a variety of helpful questions that gauge various distress indicators, as well as items that pertain to other factors like substance abuse and your relationship with the client. Many of these items track things that are a good idea to ask about at each session anyway. So by gauging these areas for you, the questionnaire can actually help save you time. Be sure not to just take their feedback and set it aside. Show them how much you value their feedback and utilize it to better guide your treatment approach. ACORN is not intended to replace your judgment as a clinician. Rather, the goal is to help provide you with more information to inform your decisions. So use the tools in conjunction with the therapy approach that you think is right for each client. Now let's get started. The first step will be to create forms that you can use with your clients. Log into the toolkit, then cursor over the Forms menu to see the options. You'll see that we offer several different methods of form submission, but you may want to check with your agency to see if there's a preferred format locally. Options include submitting electronically using our mobile forms, submitting electronically using our online PDF forms in conjunction with Adobe Reader, or printing out forms, then faxing them to our data center. There's also an option in the Forms menu called Which Form Should I Choose? that you can click on for more information. If you don't know which form type to use, we highly recommend using mobile forms. Our mobile forms let you submit the forms online and are quick and easy and designed to work on any device. Most clinics will buy inexpensive tablet devices to administer mobile forms on in the waiting room. Each of these form creation pages lets you generate forms that you can save and use later so there's no harm in generating a form right now. So please follow along and create your first form. To see how to create mobile forms, click here. To see how to create Adobe Online PDF forms, click here. And if you wanted to print out and fax in paper forms, click here. I've also included links to these videos in the More Information section of this video.